This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Janelle Monae's new album, she says that Prince was her collaborator. You know how much I love Prince. Mm -hmm. Prince dead. Yeah, but sure before he died. Before he died, silly. Oh. All right, it's called <laughs> Dirty Computer, God. and she talks about the influence that he had over her and over that album. Here's what she had to say when she was on with BBC One Radio. Prince actually was working on the album with me before he passed on to another frequency. Wow. And helping me come up with sounds and... Um, I really miss him. You know, it's hard for me to talk about him. Um, but I do miss him, and his spirit will never leave me. By the way, Janelle Monae is the most beautiful woman in the music industry. I've yeah, said that before, Janelle but it's not, it's not even close. I saw her the other night at the Wrinkle in Time premiere. Janelle don't even look real. She looks like a doll. Well, she also performed... Not a voodoo doll, either, like a porcelain. At the BET Awards you. when Prince was given a Lifetime Achievement Award back in 2010, and then after he passed... She was one of the people who actually did the tribute to Prince after his death at the BET Awards yet again. All right. She also said, I wouldn't be as comfortable with who I am if it had not been for Prince. I mean, my label, Wonderland, would not exist without Paisley Park coming before us. He would probably get me for cussing, but Prince is in that free MF -er category. That's the category when we can recognize in each other that you're also a free MF. -er. Whether we curse or not, we see other free MFers. David Bowie, a free MF. -er. I feel their spirit. I feel their energy. They were able to evolve. You felt that freedom in them. Yeah, you do. Drop one of the clues bombs for Prince. We all met him up here one time. Mm -hmm. And I took a picture from from him when he was floating away because he literally was floating and I don't care what nobody said I saw it with my own eyes we all saw it he floated away and I took a picture and when I showed everybody the picture 10 seconds later the whole picture went dark well too bad you didn't have that money phone then all right. You think Prince care about money? And it's true. That's kidding. a true story. People ask me about that all the time. But yes, Prince was up here. Yes. He did not float away. Yes, he, he did, did float away. We saw it. He had two tall girls next to him. And two he, older women. Yep. He was two old ladies. And he floated away. And Charlemagne took the picture. And the I picture showed y'all the picture. The picture did disappear. It did yes. disappear. Yes. I showed y'all the picture. Y'all saw it. I him see. floating away. The picture definitely Ten seconds later, that, that, wherever that picture was on my phone, was just a black space. I, I said, Lord have mercy, this man ain't human. That's why you can't be trying to take sneak pictures of Prince. Definitely trying to sneak a picture. God was with him. All right, Cardi B's on the cover a Cosmopolitan magazine and the one excerpt that everyone's talking about is what she has to say about sticking it through with Offset. She said it's like everybody's coming down my neck like why are you not leaving him? You have low self esteem. I don't have low self esteem. I know I look good. I know I'm rich. I know I'm talented. I know I could get any man I wanted. Any basketball player, football player but I want to work out my issue with my man and I don't got to explain why I'm not your property. This is my life. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to decide on my decision. It's not right what he effing did but people People don't know what I did because I ain't no angel. That's her, and that's he's absolutely right. That's her business. Mm -hmm. Why do people care what she do in her relationship? Why are we still talking about it though? This happened a while ago. It's well, over. Well, she just talked about it in the interview. Yeah, right? she's uh -huh. on the cover of Cosmo. This uh -huh. is in the interview. Put okay. your money Bluetooth in, and I'll <laughs> call you and tell you what's going on. Put your money Bluetooth in. All right, now let's talk about Lisa Marie Presley, the only daughter of the late Elvis Presley, and you guys also remember she was married to Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. and she had a worth of one hundred million dollars, but now she's saying that she is in debt. Now, how does something like that happen? Well, I was reading everything that's going on because she's in the middle of a divorce battle with Michael Lockwood. She's been with him for over a decade. She like Michael's, huh? Now things are going bad and he's demanding a share of her fortune. At one point it was 100 million, but he's also demanding that she pay for some of his legal fees and claims that she's lying about having financial issues. Now, if you guys remember, following the initial news of them breaking up, she accused him of having disturbing images on his computer and they both were stripped of custody of their nine-year-old twin daughters after mm. that happened. I love it. What? I love this whole situation. You try to sue me for my money, and all of a sudden I'm broke. I ain't got it. Nobody all right, well, Lisa Marie Presley has admitted that she abuses cocaine terribly. She also says she's mixing alcohol and pills. She had to get treated at least uh, between three and five times in a Mexican treatment facility. And she talks about her business manager, her former business manager, Barry Siegel, she's also suing him. She says that he squandered her $100 million fortune, leaving her with only $14,000 in cash and $500,000 in credit card debt. That's Unspecified it? unpaid taxes and a mansion in foreclosure in England. Oh, right I now. don't love this. Thing, so she wow. really ain't got no money. She got nothing. So imagine she's the only child. She inherited her father's whole estate when she was 25. And that estate, by the way, still to this day makes $40 million a year. So she gets some money a year, then. Well, guess what? She sold 85% of her stake in Elvis Presley Enterprises. Oh, that was she sport. sold it? 85% of oh, it. Oh, she out of her goddamn mind. So she still does have that 15%, but her spending habits have been an issue. She runs through 5 to $7 million a year, which kind of matches the net income of the part of the business that she has. 
And she also has been having this drug issue, and she says that her former business manager spent all her money. So. This wow. is a goddamn shame. Elvis Presley is top three white men of all time. It's Tom Brady, Elvis Presley, and the founding fathers, and now she broke. Hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for. All it. right, Oprah's on the cover of People magazine, and she talked about the one thing that could make her run. She said, for president, she said, "I went into prayer. God, if you think I'm supposed to run, you got to tell me, and it has to be so clear that not even I can miss it. And I haven't gotten that yet, so that's why she's not doing that. But oh. she said her best friend urged her to take Gail King <laughs> urged her to take that possibility seriously. And she said, I had people, wealthy billionaires, calling me up and saying, I can get you a billion dollars. I can run your campaign. That many people saying something made me think, am I at least supposed to look at that question? Oh, my Bluetooth slipping up. I've seen it fall out. Hold on. Did I tell y'all I met Mama O the other night? Did you yes, see? you yeah, did. Yeah, we know. Did you we see the pic on my IG Is that your real pic or was that Photoshop? Y'all saw the pic? I did see the pic. Go to see the God, C-T-H-A-G-O-D, if you haven't seen it yet. I got it posted. I need to make that my IG pic, by the way. You went from Oprah to Safari. You know what I'm saying? Life's about balance, ain't yes. it? <laughs> Life's all We're about all balance. Was that here. picture real? I thought it was Photoshop. Don't play with me. I don't know if that don't was really Don't play with me. Don't, don't play with me. I'm just asking. I'm sure it's more pics, too, but I, cause, but people were taking pictures while we was having the conversation that we was having, but I haven't seen no surface yet. You're looking I'm, for them, ain't you? I'm definitely looking for them. Because <laughs> she I, came up to me and had her arms out like big old Oprah hug. Oh, it was amazing. I'll never forget that night long as I live. Mm. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. She might be calling me on my money Bluetooth right now. Did she post a picture on her on? her IG? No, you and Duvall just hating. Why y'all gotta hate so much? Why y'all gotta hate so much? The picture what? wasn't really the best quality either. It wasn't that clear. Yeah, it was my wife. I thought that was Photoshop. My wife and her raggy phone. All right, well, <laughs> that is your room report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.